What's up everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. All right guys, quick update from here in Poland. Last Saturday, we had the second match of the Polish Plus Liga Finals. Remember, it is a best of five series. So this was the second match, Zaksa against Zostrzewski Vigel, and we were able to win the game. Three, two, two. Woo! What an insane match. We were able to win the fifth set, 18-16. I think I'm gonna watch this on my channel later. So we are currently up 2-0 in the best of five series with the next match on Wednesday. Okay guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be watching the 2022 NCAA Men's Volleyball Championship between Long Beach State and the University of Hawaii. Now in my last video, I watched the same two teams, but that was the Big West Conference Championship. And I mentioned that there was potential for these two teams to meet up in the NCAA final once again. And well, it happened. So we're gonna be watching the third set, Long Beach State, University of Hawaii, NCAA final, let's go. All right, so we're currently in the third set, Long Beach serving down 10-11, I think, we'll see. Hawaii is up two sets to zero. Long Beach serving, 10 serving, 11. Here we go. Nice serve into that scene. Nice pass. A little bit of misconnection there. Pipe to their big dog, the NCAA player of the year. A little bit inside. Great touch. Woo! Yes, trick rally. Nice save. So that was quite the point to have to break down right now. But we can see, first of all, this serve in the seam. And then the UH receiver does a great job of getting his angle out there. His hands break, but his angle is there. His shoulders are forward. Strong platform. And then a little bit of a misconnection there. I think the middle, you can see the pipe is coming right on the middle. And I think they probably just got a little bit confused where they wanted to go. Great up pipe to their NCAA player of the year. I don't know why he put that over. One, two, I'm not sure. Great block touch, watch this play. Goes to fake, gets all three blockers to commit. Hitter wasn't exactly ready, got the tip, got the point. Woof, 11 all, 11 serving 11. Nice pass, great angle. Holy, that looked in to me. Let's watch this again. So if you, you can see, just a great pass, great angle, great platform. And then this ball, slow-mo. I paused it. That looks right on the line to me. Okay, so ball was called in. Hawaii got the point, 12 serving 11. That was in. I paused it right as it looked in, right? They have the slow-mo replays, I hope. Serving sub, off the tape, good pass. A little bit off the net. That looked out, but they called it in. I think we're gonna see another challenge here. Okay, ball was called in. Wow, I thought that was out. They did not reverse the call. 12 serving 12, I think. Hawaii with the perfect pass and the tip. Nice play. So the setter got up here. You can see the ball was a little bit tight, but that's the advantage of being a tall setter, of course. Ball gets a little bit tight here, and then Galloway, the outside for UH, tips it. Number 12, while wow, Eric, get your buttons correct. Number 12, just a little bit slow reacting there. I think he was a little bit on your heels. And as soon as you see that hand go up for a tip, you're gonna wanna like get your weight forward. And I think if he was able to read that tip better, he probably would have been able to get it. Make sure you see that arm. If the arm goes up, it's gonna be some sort of tip, push, power tip, and you can be more ready for that. 13, 12, what are you serving? Kind of waffled it, maybe a little bit of a spatch there. 13 all. Ooh, lefty jump serve. Pretty good pass. Block touch, go, nail it. Nice control, thick. Woo! Long Beach with the transition. You could see they had that perfect block, great block touch, great defense, putting it high right on the net for the setter to run the offense. Hit that thick, got the real point. I believe Long Beach is up now, 14 to 13. I could be wrong, you guys. I tried to keep track, but lefty again. A little bit off, another tip, tried to power it. Pretty good set. <gasps> oh, and he just missed it. You can see he went high for those hands. He probably just missed it by a little bit, but you can't really tell from this angle. 14 off. Perfect pass. A little bit low on that set, but they got the point. You can see that the long, the Hawaii blocker here 
committed on the middle, didn't even care about the back set to position one. Tries to go two blocks on Mikulov, the player of the year. Okay, I get it. But just didn't quite get right in front of him to block that ball. The other thing I wanna kind of question here is Galloway, the server for UH, take something off of this serve. Maybe he was trying to go to the line, but Briggs is the libero, he's right there. And in general, if you're gonna serve the ball kind of off, like off speed or soft and not put it in on the line or even shorter or in a more strategic zone, you don't wanna serve the libero like that. So he probably wants that serve back because they were able to run the perfect play here. I think my recommendation there would have been to maybe try and do that off speed to the middle back there, the passer in area six, because he was running that pipe and UH was obviously aware of it. So if you can take that pipe out, then that leaves two or three hitters available and you can spread your block out a little bit differently. So strategic serving is really important, especially if you're not gonna hit it as hard as you can or like put some more pace on it. Okay, Long Beach out of the timeout, 15, 14, going with the float, perfect pass and the middle attack. If you get that perfect pass, it's really hard to stop. And you could see the technique that was there. Shoulders were over, feet were solid, angle was strong, platform was strong, run the quick. Okay, another serving sub in, 15 all. This guy comes in periodically, serves really hard. Yep, that looked in to me too. I think I'm just a little bit off today. 16, 15. Woo! Nice angle, so simple. Nice up. Ah! Long Beach had that point. First of all, I wanna talk about this pass because the technique, just so simple, you could see, not a lot of movement there. Passing, you wanna keep as simple as possible. He gets his angle out early, keeps that angle, arms were strong, shoulders were over, nice play. And then Long Beach with the dig here. Libero goes to set, not sure why he took that ball, the setter was right there, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication, hard to tell. He definitely wanted to push that out a little bit more. This was not the set he wanted. I know, I'm a libero. If you can get that out just five more feet, he could have made a better play there. But that ball did have a lot of spin on it, so I've been there, trust me. I lost track of the score. I think it's 16-15. 16 off. UH's best server serving, nice pass, great angle. Woo! Huge monster block, let's watch this. So perfect pass here, UH stays there. Look, they have two blockers up. And this middle blocker, he feels the help to his left. He knows that his teammate is there on his left to help block the ball. So what does he do? He reaches up and then a little bit to the right because he knows there's more help to his left. Maybe he knows that he's more of a crossbody hitter as well. I don't know, I don't know that hitter. But you can see he just reaches just a little bit to his right, right there and blocks the ball. That's a monster block right there. Doesn't surprise me, he's Brazilian. Those Brazilians just know what to do. Okay, I have lost track of the score. My editor will have it on the board. Good serve. Was that over? Below the net. Oh, that was a rip. They called over. Let's watch this again. So good serve here off the tape. That's always hard. The ball goes tight. Let's pause. The Long Beach setter is back row, so he cannot reach over the net like that. And the UH hitter, if the ball crosses the net by this much, can go after it. So the ref called below the net. He definitely was over the net, but I think this might change. I actually don't know what happens here, so we'll see. Okay, so what I thought was gonna happen happened. They called back row blocker on the Long Beach setter because he was above the net. And if the ball did cross the net just a little bit, the UH attacker has the right to hit it. And that's what he did. So that's what happened. Nice pass. Good up. Transition. Cover. Nice dig, run the offense. What a play by Long Beach, just grinding out that point. Sometimes it's not gonna be perfect. You're not always gonna side out on the first ball. And you gotta try and get those touches, those defenses, is that a word? Those digs and transition. And that's exactly what they did. They fought for that point. What, you three meters? Gets the tool off the line. Yep, so Long Beach, I don't know what the scouting report was, but you can see they gave up 
about two feet of line there. Maybe this hitter loves to go angle, but they get a good block up. The guy just uses the right hand of the block and that's what happens sometimes. You can have the perfect block, but the hitters will normally have the advantage. So you can't always get frustrated. Remember, volleyball, sometimes you're gonna have perfect technique, perfect block, perfect serve, and things might not work out for you. So hopefully they can just move on after that point and know that they did everything they could in that point to score. It just didn't work out. I don't know the score. Ace. So you can see Long Beach here is going with four receivers. Again, we've talked about this. USA does it. Zoxa does it. Yastrembia does it in Poland. Polish national team does it. I've seen Perugia do it. Lube do it. A lot of teams are doing this more just to cover more court. But the server here goes directly in the middle. Actually, number 23 was right there, but 31 reached in front. But you've got to make sure that you talk out those seams, the spaces in between the players, so you know exactly who's going to take what. That time, I think both were aggressive. It just didn't work out there. All right, serving out of the timeout. What is he going to do? Goes for it again. Good fight. Hit her. Right down the line, but it was long. He had an open line there. Just didn't get on top of it just by a little bit. Missed it by inches. Good swing there, but just a little bit out. Serving, four man again. He wanted that line. You could see he was going after the opposite hitter who is probably not known for passing. Not a lot of opposites are known for passing. They're getting more and more involved in passing as volleyball progresses. But I don't know how much that guy passes, to be honest. Long Beach serving. Whew. Good serve. Holy moly. I know UH has two Greek guys and they call one of them the Greek freak, like in a good way, but I think they're both Greek freaks. Like they both jump and just hammer the ball. That's insane. That was like a two man block. Let's watch that block again, actually. I think they went a little bit by it. Yeah, you can see. So where this hitter was and where the block ended up setting up, they went way too far. I'm not sure what they saw in this situation, but this set went a little bit inside. The hitter gets way inside, five feet, and number 31 actually blows by it. He's not in any position to really block this ball. So you make sure as a blocker, you keep your eye on the ball and where the hitter is, so you can line up in a better spot. You can see he has so much cross court there. And with this guy, he can hit it. So I think that's an adjustment that Long Beach definitely wanted to make. And I know that their coach, Alan Knight, in the post game press conference mentioned that they were just not in rhythm blocking and just couldn't block any ball. So that was part of the reason maybe. Float serve and pass, three meters. Nice up by the middle, go. Oh, you love to see middles diving and sprawling and getting the ball up. And you just know that if a middle like that gets the ball up, just fully sprawled out, you gotta give everything you can to get that ball up, which I think they did. They just put it over the net. Number nine, <sighs> he went for it, right into the net. Serving is tricky, you guys. If you take too some, if you take something off of it too much, the other team is just gonna kill the ball. I mean, that's just how it is. So you have to go for it and make sure to put a little bit of pressure on your opponent. Opposite for a UH serving here. Is he gonna go for it? Woo! Wow, what a rip by number 23. The pass got a little bit off. Setter put it pretty off inside. Not the best play by Long Beach there by any means, not the most crisp, but that's what I mean. If the play isn't pretty, it's not perfect. There are still ways to side out and that's definitely what Long Beach did right there. Long Beach serving now. I believe they're down, but I'm not sure what the score is. Wow, that's a nice back set. So one thing about this UH setter is that he's tall, he's a lefty, he has a strong arm, he can hit. So these Long Beach blockers are well aware of that. And anytime the ball gets close to the net, they have to be ready for him to dump it, to spike it. And I'm not sure they were thinking that in this situation, but they were super bunched in. You can see number 23 right here is all the way across the half court. Maybe he's ready for pipe too, I don't know. But then has trouble getting back here the middle blocker was not there because he was so worried about the dump, the middle, the outside, that there was one blocker up, didn't quite get exactly where he wanted, and UH put it away. Okay, serving sub in. I believe this is match point, 24-21. Puts it in, over the net, blocked, save it, nice. And the net violation, and UH wins. Let's watch this play again. Okay, so the serving sub comes in, takes something off of it, just puts it right over the net, 
The setter actually blocks it, but he nets. Watch right there. He actually blocks it. He gets up, but he hits the net. Hawaii saves it. And Hawaii wins the third set and the 2022 NCAA championship, three sets to zero. Congrats to them. All right, guys, what a match. What an exciting set to watch. I have not watched the entire match, so I don't really want to give any comments because I really don't know what happened. I've only watched the second half of the third set with you just now. But overall, two great seasons by UH and by Long Beach. Congratulations to them. And congrats to UH for being back-to-back -back NCAA championships. I am so happy for the team, the program, and the state as a whole. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did. Wish us luck for Wednesday. If we are able to win one more game, we will be Polish Plus Liga champions, but I know it's going to be a tough, challenging game. So wish us luck. But as usual, I hope you enjoy your day. Get out, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.